European friends, um, Dan Tartaglione, D. Tartag, one of the forms, and uh, coming to you live for uh, the second game for Bastion and uh, Mr. Chris Wirfs. Uh, looks like they're about to start. Wirfs is now playing light side. Bastion is going to be playing dark side. So here we go. Let me get the full screen. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so it looks like Worfs has decided to play there is good in him. Bastion has gone with Ralops. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, actually, no surprises there from Bastion. Uh, the card, the, the deck is really good. So I do not fault the man for playing it at all. And uh, a little surprised by ba uh, my Worfs choice with. Uh, there is good in him. Uh, I know it's popular amongst the Seattle group, so maybe he thought he would have some good luck with it. Uh, being that Bastion is playing a mostly, oh, actually an all Imperial deck, you would think that Luke's going to get captured here soon. Probably going to be transferred over to Vader soon. Uh, so I think this is going to be an interesting matchup. I mean, this is not a matchup that we've, we're accustomed to. I mean, we are accustomed to Ral Ops, but we're not really accustomed to there is good in him. Uh, so it looks like he's going to do the 12-card start. Uh, Bastion going with Imperial Rest Order, Establish Control, and Imp Decree this time. So we'll see if Bastion is going to go with the normal setup for Ral Ops, or if he's just going to go do, down to the Endor Docking Bay. Limit worse to what he can do on his second turn. And, but, I mean, Worfs can move Luke over, so we'll see. what we, We'll see. We'll see. This is definitely going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, definitely one that I would like to see maybe uh, Chris Goglin uh, talk about on his Monday evening show. Uh, if not his game, uh, maybe something else. We'll see. Uh, Bastion doesn't get a lot of activation. Uh, he only actually gets four in this as a start off. So... We shall see. Excuse me. Sorry, it's uh, 11 o'clock over here on the West Coast. Uh, we're delayed by uh, 30 minutes. Uh, Chris Worth and uh, I guess his family were playing uh, Terraforming Mars. If you haven't played it, play it. It's a really, really good game. Uh, it's, I know it's a popular game of the Sunday night groups at the majors. Uh, I know Johnny. Ch it's a preferred game of Johnny Chu, uh, being that he is at least the greatest American player, in my opinion, to play the game. So, you can, I mean, you can't go wrong with that if he likes it. So, Worfs is starting with uh, Rescue in the Clouds. Uh, looking at the top three cards of his reserve deck. He picked his one, put it back, and uh, going to do some uh, early game shenanigans. Uh, getting out the grabbers, playing cards from your hand, you know, stuff like that. But again, it's going to be interesting to see what Bastion does with his first turn. I can imagine myself. I um, you either he's either going to set he's going to either want to set up his stuff or limit worse. I mean, obviously. Uh, personally, I, again, I'm not really familiar with theirs. Going last time I played it was at um, World. I want to say it was two years ago, where. Uh, I played it against Worfs, actually, with my ISB deck. He ended up beating me narrowly. Uh, I actually did what I wanted to do, but it came down to him just getting in the... I, I lost the Vader early, so I was taking that ping of two. So, at that point, what can you do? So, it looks like Bastion does have a lot of his sights. He, did, he was able to get uh, Fondor out. From there's uh, with established control, he was able to get both docking bays and another spaceport site. So he is going down to the Endor docking bay with uh, Captain Kurji. Captain Kurji, who is a V card, uh, one of the puck cards uh, from the uh, late great John Anderson. They were spoiled at nationals this past year. Uh, they are legal 100%. So if, if you're not familiar with it, Captain Kirk, he's pretty good. Um, he is another one of those Imperials who will uh, work with Imperial Star Destroyers, uh, especially with the Thunder, the Thunder Flare. So, 
he limits the amount of attrition. So if you're running like a quad drive yards deck where your starter choice are already immune to less than four, I mean, that's pretty good. And the other portion of the game text is if at a battleground, you may peek at the top card of a reserve deck. If it's a character, they lose a force. If it's a rebel, it also goes into the use pile instead. So pretty good card uh, from that, those uh, preview sets. Uh, I know there was two other ones. There was Puck, and then there was uh, the ship as well. So uh, he also puts down Admiral Oz also now. Worse is a little bit limited onto what he can do, so he can't activate any force where Luke is. Uh, I mean, he could he could drain, and I can almost see him going to... Oh, well, he's going to retrieve one first, and then I can see him draining here for the one, because there's no battle water, there's no coward out, so why not get that drain to one? So... Hopefully there are some people watching tonight. Looks like there's a few. Okay, so he's not going to drain, but he is going to play Speak to get out the JCC. So he's getting some activation out. I mean, he is still behind, but at the same time, getting out the Jedi Council Chamber is pretty good. Um, probably going to see, I'm going to guess that he's going to move Luke over so that he's captured. But we shall see. Uh, the fact that he's playing young Skywalker is pretty interesting. Uh, I've seen them play... I, I think it just depends on the deck that you're going up against. And being that Ralops normally only has uh, Vader and the Emperor in the deck that are uh, Dark Jedi. And they usually only run maybe like one Vader and like two Emperors just because he's Destiny 6. It, it, it makes sense, because then he can start retrieving. Oh, okay, so here's an interesting one. So he goes out and gets a new secret uh, base. So it looks like he's going with the Harpster version of There is Good in Him, where he basically gets out like Mon Calamari or a system, and he gets out uh, the, star, the Star Cruisers, like the Home One, Akbar, stuff like that, and he'll just sit in space and do a lot of damage. Okay, so he's getting Camino out, so that's more activation. He's got the two of sight as well. So, I mean, that's a pretty good start for Worfs. I mean, it's considering where he was. And he is going to move Luke over, so Luke is going to be captured. Let's see. It looks going to go on to Admiral Ozzel. So, on the reverse side. So, the reverse side of where it starts to get interesting. So, on the, on the zero side, uh, Worfs cannot play Alter, Strangle, Captain Fury, stuff like that. Uh, while this side's up, he gets the plus two at Luke's site. If there's an, an Imperial at the landing platform, that activation is turned off. Once Luke's captured by any Imperial... At the end of the opponent's turn, if he's not escorted by Vader, he uh, Bastion will lose two. Uh, any Imperial can transfer Luke to Vader. And then once per turn, if Vader is present with Luke, he can draw Destiny. And if Destiny is greater than 14, Vader crosses over and Darkseid loses. So, pretty interesting. Okay, so Bastion's going to use Captain Kirgi to look at the top card of Worf's desk, deck. Okay, so he is peeking. Let's see what it is. If it's a character, Worse will lose one. If not, card just goes back. Okay, so it doesn't look like it was a character, and Bastion is going to use his objective. So now that Luke is captured, uh, uh, Worse will get those two icons at the Chief Chirpa's hut. So both players are now uh, activating 14. Uh, this is going to change here in a second once Bastion gets out another site. Now I've seen dark side players go from Endor to the flagship or the uh, Executor's docking bay. So that way it's a way of uh, protecting the Vader or whatever character has Luke, uh, is escorting Luke. 
Okay, so there goes the Emperor down to Ralatir. So good thing for Worf that Worf's got that early retrieval because one, he's not getting it uh, two, uh, because Luke is captured and two, he's not getting it because the Emperor is on the table. But again, this is, a th uh, this is a, there's good in him. There, uh, I'm going to guess that Worf has a bunch of characters who can come down and battle. So I'm probably going to see uh, Jedi's with their lightsaber, like uh, EPP Obi-Wan, EPP Qui-Gon, stuff like that. Okay, Crush the Rebellion, so that's a good card against uh, Clash. And also pulls I Have You Now, uh, and also pulls Invader, which is a combo card with Monarch, so Invader Monarch's pretty good. I want to, again, thank everybody who tuned in tonight who's watching. Uh, looks like we have five people actually watching in the uh, in the room. Well, actually, there's two people playing and three people watching. Justin Branch, who's uh, on Team Euro, and uh, Echo Base Trooper, who I'm not 100% sure who that is. Uh, Echo Base, if you're watching on the stream, go ahead and let me know who you are. Uh, I know you're doing pretty well in the Jawa, uh, the Jawa Cup. Uh, good job making as far as you do. I want to say that you're uh, one of the at least four knows that I've, what I've seen. Uh, we haven't got. We are currently in game five of the Jawa Cup, uh, and from what I was seeing, at least after game four, uh, Echo Base Trooper was one of the four undefeated, along with uh, JJD, who of course is Jared Consker. Uh, Brandon, who, again, I'm not 100% sure, and uh, Gornal, who is a uh, pretty good guy. I want to see he's one of the Colorado guys. Uh, yeah, Bobby uh, Bobby out in Colorado. Uh, one of those team, uh, one of the uh, Jerry uh, Quesosauce's uh, team members. Okay, so start with Worf's turn. So Bastion did move off of Endor, going over to Rallet here. So ba both players are now flipped. I highly doubt that uh, Worf's is going to unflip, unless, of course, Luke is freed. But again, with such things as, I mean, Bastion's getting plus three to his Battle Destiny, so that's pretty good. But again, Worf's doesn't care about coming down and uh, not worrying about four strains. He wants to come down and fight. But while we're talking about Worfs here, again, I want to mention that uh, next month uh, we're going to be doing uh, our next major. Our next major event is the Indoor Grand Prix out in Seattle. Uh, normally, Chris Worfs is the uh, tournament director or tournament promoter uh he usually runs it out in uh seattle actually it's a kind of a little suburb out there called SeaTac. pretty nice little area right off the if you if you're going to go i would say go it's always a fun event the seattle guys put on a great show uh not only is the event itself fun uh but seattle's a good city it's going to be a little cold up there being that it's january but at the same time it's better than being on the east coast at least from what i've seen uh and it's it's pretty fun right now. It looks like there's uh, 32 people going. Uh, Chris Worfs, uh, Phil Eisen, uh world champion. Uh, Joe Olson's going to be there. Uh, he just came off of uh, world. He's actually part of Team uh, America. He's also one of the uh, he top forward out in Worlds. Hayes Hunter, who's a perennial. He came um, really close the last two years. He made two top eights. Uh, a lot of other good guys, Matt Wadden, Mike Turner, Ryan Jelson. Uh, I know he's taking out uh, the misses as well. She's going to be playing. Um, Brandon Beatty, uh, who does a lot of the doc – he's doing the documentary on the game. So if you want to go out and uh, talk to him, see, pick his brain, see what he's doing, how it's going and everything, I would, rec I would recommend it. Um, but uh, Brian Fred, uh, I know he won the event a couple of years ago. I want to say it was like three, four years ago. Uh, so he's going. Uh, Kyle Kruger, he's always fun to be with. Harpster, uh, if, you, if you're down to play Star Wars, Harpster will always play Star Wars. And uh, a lot of the uh, East Coast guys are going. Uh, Casey Anus, uh, he made the top eight, I want to say, three, four years ago as well. 
uh, Bill Kafer, who doesn't go to a lot of the outside of the East Coast events just because he's military. Uh, actually, he's Air Force, like my, uh, like myself. Uh, and but uh, surprisingly enough, we're getting Scotland Grell out to go out there. So it's going to be a really fun event. I'm going to be there, so uh, I would recommend going. Oh, nice. So, yeah, Adam, good good job on getting the 5-0. and o. So, uh, if you got any... Uh, hopefully, I won't play against you, because I'm 4-1 uh, and one myself. But So, if you got any good dark side decks, let, uh, let me know. <laughs> I, I'm tired of playing Guado. So, looks like right now the players are just uh, searching their decks for a bunch of stuff. Uh, Bastion's trying to Looks like he's trying to fortify his position while Worse is uh, trying to get some of the cards to make a strike on Ralatier. But I think it's, it is going to be a little hard just because Bastion, th this is a Ralatier, this is a Ralops deck. And there's a reason why Ralops is tops at, at this point. Uh, not only is Bastion going down to Ralatier, but it looks like he's uh, going out in space as well. He's got both the flagship executor and the binder out. So he's going to be able to drain for a lot next turn. And Admiral Monty on the binder. So the flagship's just sitting there out in a Fondor, chilling. I mean, he came down for seven instead of the usual 12. So... So, Worfs is, I think, honestly, Worfs is going to have a lot of work here to do. Uh, I mean, right now, Bastion looks like he's in a pretty decent spot. I mean, yeah, he's Bastion's losing too, but I mean, with the objective, well, now it's only going to be one because of uh, Imp Decree. So, smart on Bastion for playing the Imp Decree, or starting the Imp Decree. So, Bastion's not really worried about um, losing that one force, especially the fact that he can swap cards in any battle. He, it, he doesn't have to initiate. I mean, Worse can come down, fight one of the random guys on Ralatier. He can fight one of the ships out in space, which I don't think he's going to do anytime soon. So, but, yeah, I mean, Worse, if he's not going to do something, he's going to be taking uh, a drain of... He's going to take six force loss in the next turn. But you got to think with an 11 card hit, he's got something. Okay, so we're going to start off. Well, he does have one thing. He's got the Anakin Skywalker. So Anakin is pr a pretty good card. And he's still got 21 cards left in his force pile. So he's got a lot of resources to work with this turn. So. And there comes Qui-Gon Jinn as well. So he's coming down pretty hard to that one location in front of uh, Lieutenant Commander Arden. I mean, he draws up Destiny on his own, and it's going to be plus three. But at the same time, Worf's is getting one Destiny. He has a lightsaber, and he's getting plus one to his battle Destiny. So, And, and the other nice thing is he, he can battle for free, so he's not paying any resources at this point. So I, I think he's trying to come down do as much damage as he can here. If Bastion has the gig, even if he has the gig, it's, it, he's probably going to grab it. Um, I know the, a lot of the light side players do grab the gig just because they want to see it over and over and over again. So maybe that's what Worf's is thinking. So we'll see. But again, he's got 14 cards left after deploying those two characters. And Adam, I wasn't joking. If you got any dark side decks, hook, hook a man up. <laughs> okay, and here goes Padme as well. So not only is he going to get uh, the battle destiny and the swing, but he's also going to get a destiny to attrition as well. Interesting. So I think he's thinking the long game, getting the Padme with the Anakin. So, um, plus, I mean, she's a. I, She's a card that you would rather lose over the Anakin and the Qui-Gon. So. Can't do late night streaming without a nice tasty beverage. 
Okay, so we are gonna we are gonna have a battle, and Bastion's gonna react with the Tempest Scout six. So has a little bit to his power. So it's now six to fourteen. All right, again, Worf's is gonna get that swing on the Lieutenant Commander. Maybe he's got the uh, Odinets or the. Uh, the Lana combo. Okay, so he draws a five, so that's gonna hit the commander. And he draws a second five, so there's two Landro Calrissian scoundrels right off the top of his deck. Interesting. So yeah, he's got, like I said, he's got a lot of characters, and he's gonna take one of those Landos into his hand with uh, Jedi Levitation. Good card for getting any kind of destiny that's character into your hand as well as getting a character back out of the lost pile and he draws Jin Erso for two so he definitely hit the lieutenant commander with a seven okay so so Bastion is still down by eight but more importantly he's got some um he, he does have he's just gonna have the Excuse me. He is going to have the plus three to his uh, battle destiny. So, let's see. Worf draws a six, which can becomes a seven. So, that's a pretty good destiny. So, he's got 21 right now. Um, I mean, and that's definitely going to clear the site. Okay, so Bastion draws a four. It's going to become now... It's, he has his own seven. But Bastion is still still down by eight, and he draws a one for attrition. He draws Ray. Okay, so Bastion has to stack one onto I feel the conflict, which now will uh, make will actually make that fourteen that we have mentioned earlier. That any time that Vader is with Luke, uh, he can draw Destiny if it's greater than fourteen. He could cross Vader, but this is a way of making it a little bit easier because now that will make it three less, so he only needs greater than 11. Okay, so Worse will lose the Padme. Okay, there goes the Lieutenant. And he's still got eight cards to lose, but he's obviously he's going to lose the Temp Scout six. Four damage left, and let's see, does he have a kick? No, he does not. He plays, tr so he's going to lose a trample, and he's going to lose Tarkin and a masterful move, and uh, Veers as well. So again, Bastion does not care about cards in his Lost Pile, so he can easily say, I'm going to throw away this little piddly Imperial to get Veers back, or I really want that Tarkin back. And again, any battle. Uh, he could have did it in the last battle. Is 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 whenever he draws a battle destiny. So I mean, he could have did it in the last battle, but I, I didn't look like he had any, he didn't do it. So maybe he just didn't have something in his hand. Maybe he just didn't want any of the cards back at that point. So again, Worf's is going to take some damage here. He's actually he's going to take actually not just some. He's going to be taking five. Maybe he's got a control, maybe he's got something. I don't know. He's got a the fact that he only went down to the one location tells me he's got something. Well, at least we hope. <laughs> and just to recap in the last game, uh I know that Bastion won the last game. It was pretty close. Uh, Bastion was playing throne room. Worse was actually playing core. Normally it's a bad matchup for the court player. However, Worse was holding his own up until the very end. Uh, he tried to battle in front of Leia, Rebel Princess. Unfortunately, he couldn't due to him not having any droids or not alien characters there. Uh, Worse then moved one or two guys in front of a Luke Jedi Knight with uh, his bionic hand in. Bastion initiated, Bastion got back a, sorry about the must combo, hit one of his guys, which was essentially letting him draw destiny and everything, 
and cause a massive amount of overflow. So, yeah, it was Bastion by eight. So, Worfs does have a chance, but again, this is Bastion we're talking about. So, we'll see. Okay, Worfs is going to use Where You Looking For Me to take a card out of his hand to get a 3PO. He also is going to play Fly Casual, so he's going to play that loss. So, he's able to grab the Tan of four in, out of his deck. So, he's got the Tan of now, so... We might actually be able to see him flip uh, Bastion back uh, if he throws down the Tanov down to Ralatir, but uh, I think Bastion is going to move at least one of those Star Destroyers over to Ralatir to block that. Okay, so Worse is going to lose two to the Drain at Kamino. He's going to lose the 3PO from his hand, and he's going to lose Jakku's ra Racing Camp. And interesting, so that's a 2-0 site that... Worse is essentially floating in his deck. Interesting. And then he's going to also lose uh, Rescue in the Clouds from his reserve deck. So Bastion did grab the uh, Rescue in the Clouds that he uh, Worse played earlier in the turn. But again, that is, just des that is a Destiny 5 that is out of the deck. Okay, so Bastion plays Fanfare. Interesting. So maybe he's got another Grabber. Who knows? Okay, Worse is going to lose a general resilience to the drain uh, to the docking bay, and he's got one more drain at the prefix office, and he's going to lose a barrier. So again, that was a drain. That was five force that Worse just ate. I mean, I know that Bastion uh, he had he caused an overflow of four in the previous battle, but. That's still five cards that, had, that went into his loss pile. Okay, Bastion's coming down with the Blizzard 4 in front of Anakin and Qui-Gon. Okay, let's see. He's looking for an Imperial Warrior to put aboard. Will we see Vader? Will we see Tarkin? Nope, oh, we're going to see the Grand Inquisitor. So, the Grand Inquisitor is a more recent V card. Protecting the Emperor. Yeah, it, it is smart to protect the Emperor. I, I do agree. So, okay. Worse does have a Rebel Barrier, so he's going to Barrier the Grand Inquisitor. So, if he's going to, if were, or if Bastion was going to initiate with the Blizzard 4, the Grand Inquisitor would be removed from the battle. So, he wouldn't be able to lose them to the attrition or if there's overflow. So smart play from Worfs. Again, both these players are really familiar with each other. This is in the last I wanna say two months, maybe one month. Oh, that's right. Okay, good call. Yeah, the uh, the fanfare. I was thinking maybe a grabber, but yeah, you're you're right. Um oh no the grabber's with the uh Wise advice, that's right. But yeah, um, that's, that's a good call, protecting the Emperor. Thank you, Yoda. But yeah, definitely a good play from uh, Worse barriering the, uh, the Grand Inquisitor. So we might not see Bastion come down with a battle. I know he would be drawing plus three, but because the Blizzard 4 would be essentially by itself, we, again, we might not see that battle. Okay, so Colonel David John comes down. Colonel David John, one of those Imperials who can draw Destiny on their own, especially uh, while out of sight. And Blizzard Scout won. So we, uh, I might be corrected here in that there is going to be a battle. Because the Blizzard 4 is a piloted AT-AT, -AT, the Blizzard Scout 1 is going to be able to cancel one of the game texts here. So will we see the Anakin or will we see the Qui-Gon? Most likely it's going to be the Qui-Gon. Yep, there Blue Scout 1 is going to cancel the Qui-Gon's game tech, so no lightsaber swing for Worfs. But now the tide's turn for Bastions, who's now currently leading in the power. 
Bastion is currently up by 17. He draws a 4, which now becomes a 7 because of his objective. Worfs now should be drawing... Worfs needs to draw pretty high. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so Bastion is going to use his game tax. He's going to throw... Put Captain uh, Pelion into his Lost Pile and take Grand Moff Tarkin into his hand. Worf's draw is a 5, so it becomes a 6. So Worf's unfortunately will lose the battle, 17 to, or, uh, 24 to 17. Bastion wins, so we're probably going to see Qui-Gon get lost here. At least just because, uh, again, it might be Qui-Gon who goes to the Lost Pile, uh, and then maybe a Jedi Resilience into the hand, out of his hand. So we shall see here in about a second. Worf is deliberating on which one of his two characters he wants to lose. And it is going to be the Qui-Gon. But no Jedi resilience. So, okay, so Anakin is now staring down an at, -AT and an at -ST all by himself at the Space Fort City. While Bastion is sitting pretty in space and on the ground. And, okay, so he's going to move the Blizzard Scout 1 over in front of Ozzel and Kurgi, and that's uh, pretty smart because the Blizzard Scout 1 can can react, and also gives a little bit of protection, especially if it's like Ozzel onto the Blizzard Scout 1. Uh, I'm not sure if that's possible or not. Maybe we'll see Kurgi go on. Yeah, you can put a passenger on, but I'm not sure about the ruling with uh, with captives. I know you can put like Blizzard, if you can put like uh, Ozzel or the Imperial onto the Blizzard 4 as a passenger and send them, put the Blizzard 4 out of play to make Luke go lost, but okay, so the captive does take out the spot, okay. Our man Yoda TP is on the ball tonight. Late night Star Wars, 11, 11.30 at night on the West Coast on a Friday night. Pretty good way. Okay, so Bastion's going to draw one card and uh, upkeep the Blizzard Forward maintenance cost. He didn't put... He didn't remove the Grand Inquisitor off of the Blizzard 4, so... Okay, he's going to lose one to Worf's objective. He loses Thrawn. I mean, Worf has a lot... Of, I mean, Worf basically has no cards on table outside of his location, the Luke, and the one Anakin. So, Worf has a lot to work with. So, I'm not counting Worf's out just yet. We haven't seen a Gek. Bastion does only have four cards in his hand. So, we'll see what worse comes down with this turn. Yeah, I, I can imagine that Worfs does not know this matchup. I mean, generally speaking, yeah. Uh, Worfs did just play against Bastion in the OCS. Uh, you can imagine that Harpster and Worfs have sat down many, many times looking at a possible this matchup. And, and like I said before, Harpster knows this deck in and out. So, yeah. There you go, Mike. And uh, I, I... So, it's 8.30 for you. It's better than 11.30 at night. I would rather it be 8.30 in the morning watching two players play versus 11.30 falling asleep as you wait for players to sit down and uh, play. Okay, so Worst is going to put down the Tandav to the Camino so that way he can possibly get rid of that drain of two over there. Okay, nothing yet from Bastion in response. Well, Mike Turner, nobody asked you. <laughs> okay, so there's that Lando that we saw him take into hand with the Jedi Levitation. So, 
He's going to be able to draw two Destiny. I mean, he only needs, what, a... So, he needs... So, P Monty is a three. Yeah, so he doesn't get the plus... He doesn't get any bonuses from uh, Imperial Restaurant, so he only needs a six to get rid of that Monty. <laughs> oh, no, it's not Captain Morgan tonight. It is a Shock Top. Okay, so here comes Ray. Ray's going to take a card out of the used pile. So, looks like he's definitely going to get rid of that that binder. Probably going to see him battle. Uh, again, Bastion's Destiny is going to be plus three because of the objective. Worfs is going to be drawing. He's drawing two right now. Ooh, that's a good card. Bright Hope. So the Bright Hope, if, for those who haven't seen it, is with a capital, he can draw Destiny and then reduce your opponent's uh, total power and attrition by whatever that Destiny number is. Oh, nice, Mike. I I'm actually jealous of that. But hey, you know what? I I'm definitely looking forward to Endor. Uh, yeah, the Executor... Can will, uh, that's what I'm thinking, is the Executor will react over. And once that occurs... Actually, you know what? Hold on. What is the hyperspace? So, seven. And six. So, yeah. That Executor can... React over. Uh, wonder if Worfs knows that. And yeah, that binder. Yeah, permanent pile. So your starship may move to here as a react. So, oof. Maybe Worfs is falling into a trap. We shall see. Okay, so Worfs is thinking about this turn pretty hard. Uh, maybe we won't see the react. Maybe we won't see, even see a battle. Uh, maybe it was just a ploy to block the drain. Okay, Ray's going to take a card off the bottom of the force pile. Okay, so there is the battle. And... Let's see, is there going to be a react? Yes, there is going to be a react. Here comes the flagship executor, piloted by Admiral Piet. So, Bastion goes from a power of 7 to 22 in a simple react. Okay, Bastion's going to draw his destiny, draws a 5. Okay, Bastion needs to draw a high. Okay, so he draws a 5 and a 4, so that becomes a 10 total. So he goes to 19. And again, let's see. Where Bastion will draw a 4, so that becomes 7. And he's going to exchange a card, so let's see what he does. Throws Min, Min to take Admiral Thrawn. Ooh, that's big. So, Bastion will be able to draw two Destiny now. Okay. So, but here's the important thing. Let's see what Worf's draws for uh, to reduce his power and attrition. He draws a five. So, that will cut down uh, Bastion to, from that ten to twenty-four. So, he's only down by five. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Worf's is going to lose Ray. Okay, so there goes the Mati. And Piet. So, interesting. So he loses the Piet, he loses the Mati, but he keeps the two Star Destroyers. I think that's the right play. I'm going to say, I mean, anything that Bastion does, I'll probably agree with. It, it's, the dude's a three-time world champion. I mean, I cannot... I, I'm... The only thing I have ever won is a consolation at the MPC. Actually, I didn't even win. I came in second. 
Hey, it's a trophy, right? Okay, so horse is going to move. He's going to move the Anakin over in front of the Emperor. And I doubt he's going to move the, the Phantom and the Bright Hope because he's only got two cards left. So he's going he's to recycle and upkeep on the Lando. Okay. Ah, now the chat is popping. Ryan Searson's also in the chat. Yeah, we've got a bunch. we got a few people in. Good to see everybody who's watching tonight on Late Night Star Wars with D -tar Tag one Yeah, I know that was really corny. Okay, so Bastion activates. Now he's going to make Worf lose two. Worf was going to lose a barrier. And we're waiting for that second one. Okay, so he loses Padme to the second drain. Interesting. Oh no, he loses Padme to Kirky. So Padme... Yeah, he loses Padme to the Kirky. Interesting. And there goes the where are you looking for me off the reserve deck. So there goes another five. Worf's is losing fives like it's his job at this point. But again, he's not out of it yet. Worf's is sitting at 23 cards in his life force. Bastion has 22. So again, Worf's has a lot of stuff left. And he's got more cards in hand to work with. But the thing is, Bastion has board control at this point. And Bastion, or no, Worf just wants to pick his, choose his battles, while Bastion just, he wants to dictate where Worf is going to go. And I think he's done a pretty dang good job of it so far. So there's that Thrawn that we just saw. So, now Bastion's not only going to get one Destiny, but he's going to get two. And there's the Tarkin. So, Worf's is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Worf's is... Uh, th this is not going to look for good for Worf's in space. That binder is pretty fortified. Fortified. Wow. This lone shock top that I'm drinking hit me pretty hard. <laughs> Joking. Okay, so... Yeah. And Worf's pretty much had to play a little loose with this matchup just because of he lost the last one by eight. So. We'll see what he's. We'll see what Bastion is going to do. I think if you are Bastion, you're going to battle here. Maybe he's got... I, I, he's only got two cards in hand. We've already seen him lose one Imperial Domination. We also saw him lose the uh, Code Clearance uh, effect. So, Okay, he's checking his destiny right now. He's got five left, so he's going to draw over half of those cards just for destiny. Yeah, it's... I, I can almost imagine that... I mean, Ralops doesn't have the best Destiny, but at the same time, it has enough to warrant the uh, the battles here. So, But first, he's going to battle on the ground, which is pretty smart, actually. He's getting a battle for free, and he draws... A, so, he doesn't draw high enough to... Uh, make worse lose the Anakin. Oh, wait, he does... Because the objectives, objective says he gets plus three right now. So he draws a 12 for death. He has 12 for power right now. Worse draws a four, which now becomes a five because of Anakin. So the Emperor's immune. He has higher power. Yeah, that's uh, that Emperor becomes pretty good. 
Yeah, and, and there. Thank you, uh, Yoda. Yeah, there you called it. Not backing up the Anakin was pretty bad for Werps because that takes him off the ground. Okay, so there comes the coward shield. So any retrieval, such as the Jedi levitation or any other retrieval, now doesn't take into effect. So, and that was actually smart by Bastion. What he did was he knew that Lando was there. He can't retrieve with Lando's game text because of the coward shield. And if he could, it would have been a one. So, yeah. Okay, so there's the gick. There's that that one gick. Oh, wait, he's going to cancel it. Tarkin's there. Pretty good card. Okay, so we got a three. And he's going to do a swap. And he's got two cards left, so I'm, I'm imagining that those two cards are at least a three, maybe a two. I'd say maybe, yeah, three and a two sound good here. Uh, so, but first, again, he's going to swap. Actually, no, he did draw a four for Destiny last turn. I don't think he's going to do, I don't think he's going to get the, uh, the, Okay, so yeah, there's the imp command that I was thinking about that he was tracking. Okay. Okay, so he swaps a Death Trooper with Pallion. And there's a 2. So I was half right. But it doesn't matter, because he draws a 12 for Battle Destiny. Oof, that hurts. Worf now gets... He does get 2 Destiny here. First one's going to be a 5. So Worf does have a lot of 5s in his deck. And the second one is going to be a 4. So he draws a 9... So, 15 to 34. I think the 34 is a little bit bigger. Let's see what he draws to with the Bright Hope here. His lone saving grace at this point. Draws a 5, so Worf's got lucky. He only has to lose 7 to a attrition, but I mean, he has 14. He's down by 14 in the power. Oof. It's going to be a tough call. Does he lose the Lando? Obviously, he loses the Lando. But what it comes to come down to is... Okay, so he's just going to leave the lose the Tantiv. Okay. Yeah, I was getting to the fact that he could peel and keep the Tantiv with the Bright Hope. But that doesn't seem smart. Okay, so the Grand Inquisitor gets off the br the Blizzard 4. Uh, that's pretty much going to be it for Bastion's turn. I mean, Bastion got rid of the two threats on the b the field for Worfs, and he's going to reinforce his hand, so pretty good turn. Yeah, I, I, I agree. You, you could think that he's got a lot of the... You would hope for at least Worf's Worf's sake that he's got a lot of the characters in his hand. I mean, he is going to be doing at least one damage a turn until Vader comes down. Again, Worf's, or Bastion's really not worried about that. I mean, he can lose one force for days. He doesn't care, but... Yeah, it's it, it, this is going to be a tough, tough thing for Worfs at this point. He, he's, I don't think he has the characters to come down, get rid of the Blizzard Four, the Inquisitor. Uh, if he had another Qui Gon to go up against the, uh, the Emperor, that would be good. So we'll see what he does here. He's got to come down with multiple guys. That's the problem. He can't come down with just one or two. He's got to come down with, like, a guy with a lightsaber and a guy to back up the guy with lightsaber so that he can lose the other guy. So Worfs is in a little bit of a pickle. I mean, that one battle that he had looked pretty good. But Bastion was able to come down and get rid of all of the threats. Okay, and again, here's here's so he's coming down with Solo. Solo it isn't really good here. I mean, he draw, he does draw Destiny on his own, but 
he doesn't do anything else. I mean, he, okay, so he'll get a car, he'll get a thing back with with uh, he can get it, he can play it, interrupt from lost pile, but he's not really doing anything. Okay, so I mean, Leia's going to be able to draw destiny, but I mean, he, one he'll he'll need like a rebel leadership to add on destiny. But he knows that Bastion has high destiny on his deck. We we saw him lose the two at the end of his turn, so I think he has a four. He's got a four on top of his deck, which is going to become a seven. Now, if worse can come down with like a Chewy here. Okay, so Cassian actually is a good thing. Cassian coming down here is is smart because he can cancel that destiny. If he cancels the destiny, he's not uh, Bastion's not going to be able to add the three. Actually, is he? And Rose comes down as well. Interesting. A take with Rose. Interesting. And he plays Draw Their Fire as well. Okay, so let's see what he does here. I mean, he's getting... He's getting one Destiny. He outpowers the Emperor, but more importantly, he's going to be able to cancel Destiny and draw their fires now into effect. He'll be able to retrieve the Tanov. And Leia will actually cause another retrieval here. So he's getting two cards back. And you're definitely not... Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah. Well, the Scout will move over here. The Trample's in the Lost Pile. So, he would have to Trample after the battle, unless he's got another one. Yeah. But right now we're on... Waiting to see what Bastion's going to lose to the Druther Fire. You know, if, if you're going to run a trample, I would play two. Okay, so no, he's first he's going to actually cause an uh, Worfs to lose a card. He's going to uh, play the imbalance combo to make Worfs lose. And let's see, what will Worfs lose? Is he going to lose from his... Res you can imagine he's going to lose from the reserve deck because he just retrieved the uh, the Tanov. Nope, he's going to lose the Tanov. But he's actually going to get the Tanov back here in a second. With uh, Leia. Bastion loses another Sight from his hand. And worse, will retrieve the Tantiv. So that's that's actually smart from Bastion because he it denied worse retrieving the Tantiv and the Lando. So here comes that Blizzard Scott Walker that uh, Yoda, our good friend Yoda over there, alluded to. Oh, he's going to put Ozzel on. And Ozzel gets off. Interesting. So and that's a little bit more forfeit. A little bit more power as well. Okay. Let's see what goes on. So. Hold on. Um, is that a legal move? And the only reason I'm asking is because of the the fact that Ozil has a captive with him. Because the Tempest Walker can only have one a passenger and a... Okay, so Bastion does draw the four that we mentioned earlier. But Worse is going to ta uh, use Cassian to place a character out of play and cancel that destiny. He's going to place 3 PL out of play. Smart. Okay, Worse is going to win that battle. 
Okay, so we're reacting. Okay. Bastion has to lose a card. And worse is not to lose anything. Okay, so Ozzel goes away. Now, let's see what happens with Luke. Luke is going to get free. Luke is free. Uh, no, he's not. <laughs> the Emperor has Luke now. Now, if you're worse, do you move away from the Emperor? Or what do you do here? Yeah, I was going to say, because yeah, Ozzel should not have been able to board there. Okay, the right hip's going to move away. And, and Worfs is going to draw a card. So he needed two to move the Bright Hope because of the binder. Yeah, he had to move away from the binder. That thing's loaded. Yeah, this is. I think Worfs learned his lesson from the last game. <laughs> I'm sorry, Worfs, but holy man. Okay, so. Emperor is staring down a nice little beat squad. But more importantly, Morris is going to take a four, four to the face with the four strain. Okay, no force lightning for the Emperor. Let's see. Ah, we got 10 people in the, the room now. A lot of people. Okay. He's going to take I Have You. He is going to take an I Have You Now for, with Crush. Or, nope, no I Have You Nows. So he activated a little bit more. Checked his destinies with the uh, the Crush. So, <sighs> okay, and he looks at the top card of Worse's deck. Okay, so we haven't seen the drains yet, so Worf is still waiting those drain those four cards that he's got uh, three drains equaling four cards that he's gonna lose. And action is still on Bastion. Okay, so here comes those drains. So Bastion activates it all. So we're not going to see any battles or anything this turn, but we are going to see a bunch of drains. There goes the Odin Listler for aid combo, another rescue in the clouds, Jedi Levitation, and a Fly Casual. So a lot of cards going away for Worfs. I mean... And here comes the Vader. Oof. So we finally have seen the Vader at any point. Remember, any point Luke can or uh, Luke can be transferred from any Imperial to Vader. So that's going to negate the uh, Force loss for uh, Bastion. 
I mean, Vader is in a nice little threat range. Um, it's 14, 6, 8. So, I mean, he would have to draw an 8 for Destiny. So, if Worfs can win one more battle, we might actually see a, uh, a crossing. Because Vader cannot get rid of Luke. Maybe this is what Bat or Worse was waiting for. To get the Vader on table. So he can come down, win a random battle, and then cross Vader. <laughs> Highly doubt it, because here comes another Blizzard 2. <laughs> oh, Worse. I'm sorry, buddy. You got to agree with me. A crossing of Vader at this point would be amazing. But again, this is why Bastion is the tippy top of the players. The dude knows his stuff. Okay, so... Let's see, we're going to just see some shuttling around, no battling. Yeah, I mean, Vader can just sit on the Blizzard too. Probably, I mean, we're probably going to see Vader cancel Rose's game text. Here on the next turn. Like I said, Worf's. I mean, the other possibility is um, we could just see, like, if Worf's was the battle of the Vader and the Blizzard 2, he could lose the Vader. Luke gets free. Because so I think at this point, the only way that Worf's can actually win is by crossing Vader. And I think Vader has to be with the Emperor. Yeah, we're present. Subtracts me from tends to cross Vader over. So, the Emperor would have to be with Vader to subtract a 3. So, if he gets one more card on there, it becomes 9. He would have to have draw a 5 to cross Vader. You gotta love how we're talking about crossing Vader at this point. Bring him before me, and there's going to him. It's so thematic, such, such interesting decks, but in reality, they're kind of meh. But again, we know that Harpster loves his throne. Is uh, there's going to him. Okay, so we've got four cards in his hand. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, he's going to get a drain of one in at Fondor. Surprised we haven't seen Bastion cancel the... Uh... Oh no, it's a drain of zero because of the reverse side of Rollops. Okay, so we haven't seen Vader cancel Rose's game text yet. Okay. So Worf's does draw a card with New Secret Pace. So action should be on Bastion at this point. Yep, there goes Vader canceling uh, poor little Rose's game text. Oh, yeah, math. You knew what I was meaning, though. Okay. I think the best place for Worf to come down and actually 
fight is probably against the Grand Inquisitor. But we'll see. Okay, he's going to play Interrupt from the Lost Pile. Let's see, what is he going to play? Jedi Levitation. So he's going to retreat a character using the Jedi Levitation. So it's costing him four to do that. Yeah, I think the best bet is to get that, if it can get the Qui-Gon back, throw it on Qui-Gon against the Grand Inquisitor, swing it, hit the Grand Inquisitor, sorry about the mess combo, and then draw Destiny against the Blizzard 4, possibly win the battle. Because, I mean, he would get the first action in the battle so he could swing, but, nope, he's going to retrieve Ray. Interesting. So, I mean, Ray would can't would be able to draw two Destiny with Solo, or he would get two Destiny where Solo and uh, Ray are. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, I think Jedi Levitation. Yeah, you just can't get a maintenance cost for, uh, character. So you can't get Lando back. And I thought so highly of you, Yoda. <laughs> no, the Ray makes more sense just because he, like I said, he can uh, put her down. I don't know, like, I don't, again, I don't think you want to battle. Well, first of all, you don't want to battle there because you can move the Blizzard, for, Blizzard Scout Walker over. Canceling a game text probably would cancel... Well, you, you still get the retrieval. Well, we'll see what he does here. I mean, Worfs is no slouch as a player. I mean... I mean, at least the one place I would not play her is on the right hope. Excuse me. There is no reason to put her on the right hope. Okay, so here comes Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka Tano will make Warp Bastion's Destiny minus one there. And there comes Ray. So... I mean, he's got a nice little bit of power there. And he'll get two ret two cards to retrieve, unless, of course, Bashan has the uh, imbalance combo in his hand. So, we'll see. Excuse me. question is, why is he going against Vader? Because the Blizzard Scout 1 will be able to cancel Ahsoka's game text. Yeah. But first first things first, we got some retrieval going on. We got some retrieval for Worfs, and we got some uh, Force Laws for Bastion. Okay, Bastion is down by 9. And worse is getting one destiny, not the two that he should be getting. I mean, one thing he could do is if he gets rid of Vader, he can move Luke over in front of the Emperor. Or the Grand Inquisitor, for that matter. It doesn't really matter. I mean, he would be still doing that ping damage. 
Okay, so here comes Captain Kurgi. All that Blizzard Scout Walker. Okay, so we got 19 to 22. Hey, the difference is three, which is exactly the same as what fashion was going to get to add to his destiny. Okay, so hopefully for Worfs, he's got a pretty high card. Okay, so, yep, Blizzard Scout Walker is going to cancel Soka's game text, which is the smart move here. So, I don't think Vader's going to get lost. I think it's probably going to be the Kurgi. Oof. That hurts for Bastion. Or for worse. The fact that he only draws a 2. And Bastion draws a 6. So, worse doesn't even win the battle. Oof. Ouch. So, I think at this point you can lose Cassian. Because he's not really doing much. So, he's going to lose Captain Pelion and get Death Trooper back. Death Trooper works with Thrawn, Tarkin, Krennic. Guys like that. So... Yeah, I think we're going to lose see uh, Kurgi go away. Probably Cassian as well. Uh, Bastion also retrieves an Imperial. For winning the battle. So, a little bit more salt into Worf's wound. I think Rose and Cassian are the two most expendable characters there. Nope, he's going to lose Leia. Interesting. And there's the Kirky. Okay, so... Soka's game text is... restored. So, I, I don't like losing the Leia because she does get retrieval. I understand that you got to lose something in the battle. I would rather... We had six, and Cassian isn't really doing much. Yeah, I mean, you could lose the Cassian and the Rose. I know, it's still a pretty fairly close game. And both players still have a lot of time left. I mean, these players went to time in their OCS match, I believe, at least in one of the games. So, both are extremely methodical on the way that they work. So. And I think that Bastion has a little slighter edge, being that it's, what, um, 9.15 in the morning over there versus 12.15 over here in the west coast of the USA. Okay, so, Bastion is saving four. He looks like he's yeah he's still in his activate phase. He's gonna activate one more. Um, he's pretty he's trying to get make sure his destiny look exactly how he wants them before he's done activating. He can do that with the emperor and the crush. So I mean that makes sense. I mean like I said the bastion doesn't really have to battle. I mean, we know that Worfs is going to battle. I mean, Bastion's causing four... Yeah, he's making him lose four cards a turn. But it looks like he saves three, so, I mean, we could see another battle here. Worfs is lose certain lose cards. He lose neighbor leads, and I can think for myself, both from hand. And let's see, he loses a sense and recoil. Interesting. And Jedi's resilience. So, he loses some 
So he loses all the cards from his hand. He goes from six cards in his hand down to two. Okay, Krennic is coming down now, so we're probably going to see those Death Troopers that uh, Bashing got last turn come down as well. So he's going to get he's going to get another Destiny. So he's going to get two Destiny plus his plus three to versus two. And Ahsoka's probably going to have her game text canceled here. Oh, I can almost guarantee it. Okay, so first Solo is going to get his game text canceled. So Worst isn't even getting his second Destiny. Yep. It's going to lose one. Bastion retrieves, retrieves the Kirky he just lost, and Worst will lose a Fly Casual from his deck. Ooh, that would have been a good card. And there goes Soka's game text. So, again, it's looking pretty good for Bastion at this point. I mean, not only is he controlling the, the, the field, he's controlling the sense of the battle. I mean, every time he does what, every time he plays something, it's exactly what he needs. But he draws a 4, and he draws a 3. That becomes 10. Oh no, he's going to cancel. So he cancels Tarkin. And, and gets the Stormtrooper Garrison. So it becomes 11. He takes the Tarkin into hand. And then he exchanges Tarkin to get Colonel David John. This is why Relateer needs a nerf. It's stupid. Okay, Worst draws a five, he becomes a six. <laughs> uh. So Worf has eleven for attrition, Bastion has six. I can see Bastion losing the Krennic to cover his attrition. Worf has a really tough decision here. Probably gonna see Solo, maybe Cassian go away. Yeah, there goes the Krennic. And again, Solo's not doing anything, because in, in front of Vader, he's going to get his game tax canceled every turn. Cassian already did what he needed to. Yeah, there goes the Cassian. Okay, so he activates one with Cassian's game text. Oh, he loses the Ahsoka instead. Interesting. I mean, maybe he thinks he can get Solo's uh, second destiny somehow? I, I just don't see it. As long as that Blizzard Scout Walker's there, it's going to be hard. I, I think if you're worse, you need a you almost need a miracle. Bastion is playing honestly since Worlds last year. Bastion is just just dominating the field. I mean, he dominated Euros this year. He dominated Worlds. He won the OCS, and now in, in this, he's just. Again, worse is his first opponent, but at the same time, it's and worse is a high class player. I would put him in, I'd say at least the top fifteen of American players, maybe the top ten at this point. But Bastion's Bastion. Again, this is like, for us American people, this is like uh, Cy Young versus Actually, this is going to be a better reference. This is like Michael Jer Jordan versus uh, Barkley. You know, one of those great matchups you always want to see, but at the same time, you know one is just 
better than the other. Okay, so here comes Obi Wan Kenobi with his lightsaber. Worse only has two cards left in his de in his uh, reserve deck, so he's not going to be able to draw Destiny. Okay, so he's going to draw his Destiny. He's not going to swing though. That's that's the big thing. So how battle? He will be able to retrieve, but Lando's going to get lost. So, again, he needs to... Well, I mean, the Blizzard Scout Walker is going to move. Well, let's see what happens here, because this is going to be interesting. Right now, the Emperor is down by five. With the three, he's down by three. If the walker comes over, it's essentially a tie. And the fact that Worse is getting two destiny to the one, I mean, he might be able to win this battle. And then if he can track a six, that's game. No, he's, go he's going to initiate in front of Vader. Interesting. I'm I'm kind of at a loss as to that. We know he's going to lose this battle. Okay. I mean, Solo's game text is going to be canceled. He needs to draw higher than the Death Troopers f forfeit. So, I mean, I, I can understand it. So, I mean, if he can get rid of that Death Trooper and get rid of the, the little walker, the chicken walker, that would help him out a lot. Okay, so the Chicken Walker is going to cancel Ray's game text. Interesting. So he'll get the two Destiny, but, I mean, his total won't be plus one. So I want to say he's going to be able to get rid of the Death Trooper. I mean, thankfully he's got a, like a nice little bit of... Uh, he's got some good forfeit there. So we'll see. I mean, this is indicating that the Obi-Wan and the Lando aren't going to battle. He's just going to use that one remaining force to upkeep the Lando, though. And secret plans are not on the table. So, I mean, he theoretically, he could retrieve with the Lando. But we'll see what happens here. This is, Right now, this is the important one. Okay, action is still on worse. Uh, he just did check his destiny. Uh, I'm not sure what he's waiting for at this point, though. Okay. Does Worfs have a trick up his sleeve with the one card he has left here? That's the question. I mean, we're sitting here waiting for Worfs to either 
And you can see the action is still on Worf's. Okay, action is now moved over to Bastion. Okay, Bastion. Worf's is not going to draw Destiny. Bastion draws a three for Destiny. Interesting. I, I'm honestly confused. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Yoda, if you could post that on the forum, that would be great. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll... Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of is he wanted to avoid the react. He wants to make sure that he... Yeah, he wants to make sure that he can get rid of the... He can win that battle. So, and the only thing is, I mean, I hope he has the Gik. Or the Hojix. But like I said, he's got a nice... He's got 15 and forfeit, and he's down by 9. So, I mean, he could... Cover, he's got to cover... 24. Yeah, I think, yeah. Worst commenting that he thinks all of the sixes are lost. So, I mean, I know he's got the, the fly casual. Uh, I know he's got... I can't think about other sixes he has. But, yeah, I think that's what he's waiting on is he's ex he's hoping to win with this, the... The uh, he's hoping to win with uh, the, uh, the crossover. Okay. Okay. Bastion draws us two, so he draws a five. So Worse is only gonna have to lose one. Yeah. Actually, no, he doesn't have to lose anything because of his forfeit. So, I mean, he's not going to be able to retrieve here. He's just going to cause one to be lost. But more importantly, he should win this battle. But again, he's going to need a six to cross Vader. And I want to say the... Okay, Bastion is trying to react. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm a little confused because I don't think the Blitzer Scout Walker should not have been able to react. Uh, is anybody else... Okay, so yeah. So it, he reacts over, but it's not in battle. So he draws a five. And he draws another five. Yeah. So, 
Worse will win this battle. And I'll lose the Lando. And yeah. Well, yeah, the Vader shouldn't be able to be there. So. Huh. And honestly, that's, um, the fact that I honestly think that that bug is pretty important in this game. So, oh, excuse me. Okay. So we're we're gonna see what happens now, cause if Worf has a six in his deck and he can draw it for Destiny, he wins. Otherwise, as he so he states, this game is over. So, I mean, worse is going to be losing four here this turn. But, I mean, technically he's only got to win, or he's only got to lose by... I mean, he's only got to win by nine to win the overall match. So, I mean, he's got eight cards to essentially play with. So it's two, two rounds of four strains, so he just can't take any overflow. Okay, so he loses a C around kid. We saw those are two fives. This is a Rose Tico. That's another five. And he loses Ray. So he's got 13 cards left. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Sebastian is intending to battle here. He puts down Colonel David John, so he's got a power of 11 to Worf's is 5. Okay, we got a battle. Yeah. Uh, and I, I agree. Okay, so this is Ahsoka. So, what it comes down to now is, I mean, if if Worf says has any cards that are six or six, if he's any sixes in the next three cards, we could, he could win. Okay, so he's got a four because then he could track, and that's all he needs to do. There is a five. Both aren't good enough. Okay, Bastion draws a four, becomes a seven. So that's 18 to the five. Yeah, Vader dies, and yeah. Now, or if Worfs doesn't draw Destiny here, he'll keep Vader alive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Vader's gonna die. Yeah. And that's the other thing. He could place Luke out of play by putting him on the Villager 4. Yeah. Yeah. 
So Vader's going to go away. Luke's going to get over. But more importantly, there's no cross. Yeah. And pretty much that Bastion's going to be able to drain for every turn. Yeah. So, pretty sure that this is going to be Bastion Winklehouse winning this game at this point. I think it's just the... It, it's 10 to 16. I mean, Worse is going to be able to retrieve, but... No, not anymore. Uh, yeah. And there's the, there's the proverbial handshake. So, good game by both players. Uh, well fought. Uh, I thought it was interesting just because Worfs did decide to play the there was good in him. Uh, I think it was a interesting play. Uh, I think it was smart. But Bastion was a little bit more than ready. Uh, his... His ROPS is pretty, pretty wicked at this point. So I want to thank everybody who did stay up with me, everybody who woke up early in the morning to watch. Uh, we'll have more uh, coverage of the Outrider Cup as it continues. Um, yeah. Um, we'll have more coverage, hopefully, of the Jawa Cup uh, as that continues, seeing as how the... Uh, seeing who advances, who goes on. Um, again, I'm, I'm DTARTAG1. Hit me up if you got any questions or anything. Uh, we'll see what you guys want to see. Uh, I know Jerry and I are going to be back after the year for our weekly show on Wednesdays. Uh, Chris Goglin is still doing his thing. So until the next stream, I'm going to be signing off for the evening. Uh, going to go get some sleep and everything. So again, I just want to thank everybody who tuned in. And thanks to Worse and Bastion for playing. And uh, good night and everybody. And may the force be with you.